So I try not to ask often, but if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a bunch. And otherwise, enjoy the content. We had a request for a tutorial on a flashlight from a top-down view. Let's go ahead and take a look at the code. First, I set it up to allow my character to move with the eight directions moving. And then I threw in keyboard and an on left or an on right, which are the built-in movements for eight direction. And on left, I trigger set mirror for both hero and flashlight. And that'll just turn them to the left. And I also have the same for the opposite key. If I press to the right, I will both my hero and flashlight to not mirror it, which will turn them back to the right. Additionally, set my animation to move if my eight direction is moving. And if it's not moving, I set them back to idle. And then I add on space. And essentially, I just throw my flashlight off into netherworld. If it is off netherworld, I will click space and it'll bring it back and set the position to my pinpoint on my hero. We can go ahead and take a look at the hero. And I added my own pinpoint. And essentially, I just followed the hand. And it'll give it a nice little bobbing up and down effect while he runs or while he idles. Then when I click space again, it will go ahead and unpin it and move it back off into nowhere. My flashlight not only shows me uh, the background image better, it also melts my slimes. So essentially, I just shine a flashlight on them. If I start shining it on one and 0.6 seconds later I'm still overlapping, it'll play the little melt animation I built on the slime. And once they're done with melt, they'll be destroyed, and I'll w add one to my global. I just track that in my slimes melted text, which I update every tick just to make sure it is saying the correct number. Additionally, I have a little fire thing that plays in the bottom right. It will pull in a yellow sprite, the same way the flashlight works, as long as it's on. And then when it's off, again, I just throw it into nowhere land. And it just auto-triggers on and off, and lights up everything around it. The key to using light is, essentially we'll be working with three layers. I have my layer zero, which has my background, which is just green. And then I have my hero, and a couple of slimes, and the fire maker. And then my light, which has both my fire light, my flashlight, which is super hard for you guys to see. This one's a lot easier to see. This one is just a yellow opacity in order to shine different amounts of light through. And the idea here is under our light properties, instead of being white, like a normal background is, we set it to black. The opacity is going to be how much shines through without anything happening. So I'm at 94%. That means not much is going to shine through. Inside of the game, you can still kind of make out your character and everything. So if I went up to 100%, it would just be pitch black. The light will still work and show stuff. Usually you want to show a little bit of light, allow people to kind of maneuver around in the dark, and then have the lighting be a little extra. Now how this works is we have this dark layer that is covering everything. And the key to this is setting the effect multiply to the whole layout, which is essentially going to allow our other sprites to interact with the black background that we set here. If we are using a color that is 100% solid, no opacity, it will show up as if the black background's not there. And then the lighter we do, the the lower op opacity that we do, the less it'll show through. So we can see that here with just a small amount of the sprite showing, and this one is getting hit with like an 80% opacity, so it's showing a lot better. And then my third one is my HUD. My HUD just has this text. All I wanted was for it to be above the light level, so it's not affected by the light. And yeah, that covers pretty much everything. Have fun mixing and matching your lights, and let me see what you create. Have a good one.